So we want to know about this ICP model. Yes. What, so that's a, what is the global ICP model? So the ICP model is basically, it's global payroll. It's in the U.S., we have a payroll engine. So you can process payroll right there on the spot. I can pay something Wednesday. I'm Friday on Wednesday. I can press the button on Wednesday. Technically, you can press the button on Thursday. And if you're really crafty and you know the systems behind the scenes, you could pay somebody the same day as well. You can definitely do that in, in, in ADP. I've done it. Yes. But um, the global ICP model is what they call an in-country provider. So mm -hmm. what happens is if a company is global and they have employees, say 40 countries, like my current company, something around there, they, the payroll company will grab some Excel files or maybe they'll have some kind of platform where you can drop these files. They'll grab all your data for the payroll. They send it to an in-country partner, in-country provider, which is basically an accounting office in that country. So to say mm -hmm. Brazil, for instance. Yep. Or, and there's a lot of, you can work with bazaars, you can work with BDO expert. There's a lot of different ICPs. Bazaars, you said they go? Yep, bazaars. Uh, but those are the companies that actually are processing the payroll for you. And mm -hmm. those are the companies in those countries that are processing the payroll for you. And so the payroll company, the global payroll company actually just gets reports back from them. They make them pretty, they put them on their platform and they show them to you. But essentially, if you think about it, it's basically me as a payroll person sending an Excel sheet of new hires, terminations, changes, anything else that needs to go into the payroll allowances, benefits, sending an Excel sheet to the middleman. The middleman takes the file, gives it to their, in, you know, their partner, which is the in-country provider. They process everything on their systems and just deliver it back. So the middleman is just there helping you partner with that in-country provider because if not, you'd have to go find them yourself. Hey. And that might be difficult. You might not know exactly who you're working with. They might not be vetted. So there's definitely different aspects of why you would choose this as well as the reporting piece of it. So they'll gra usually grab those files that those partners have, put them on their platform, allow you to report off of them on Tableau or something like that. It'll create a mm -hmm. BI environment for you and you're able to perform the functions uh, that the company is asking you to perform as far as reporting goes and getting people paid. The thing about the in-country payroll, in-country provider payroll is it takes a long time. So usually mm -hmm. you'll have, ah. it's not, Again, most countries are monthly payrolls. I think if I was in a monthly just payroll, learning that, yeah, yeah, I think I would just have money problems. To be honest, <laughs> I don't know that I could have managed yeah. a monthly payroll. <laughs> it was hard to switch from. But week. they don't know any other way, though. That's the thing. You're right. You're right. I, yeah. Me switching over it would be, you know, I don't yes. know that I could do it. Yeah, um, you'd Agreed. need a lot of money management I, there. Uh, I would yeah. need some upfront seed money to help me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that too. Yeah, because you're waiting a long time. And if yeah. you get, and the way it works, for, let's use this month, for example, you'll have May 1st to like the 12th or 13th to send over the information to the provider. Then you have this like 10 days of blackout where nothing is happening. You don't touch anything. And then they give you, let's say maybe the 23rd of the month. So today they would give you a file and say, hey, this is your file. You have about 24 hours to check it. Wow. And, and Basically, you have to check it right then and there, and you know there, there. That's the problem. Now, now you have that's crazy. You check payroll by the twenty fourth. It gets paid out on the thirty first. There is no way for you to actually change anything if it's wrong once you've given that green light. So you have twenty four hours to check it. Depending on where that company is based, that global payroll company is based. Let's say they're based in a, a country with a different time zone and you get the file in your time zone, you might not even wow. have 24 hours. You might have wow. 17 hours. Minus, you know? minus six hours, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I've always said I don't understand why somebody hasn't really risen to the occasion and created a payroll engine every... I mean, I understand why it's extremely complex, but you know, if somebody did, if a company did create a payroll engine in every single market, one, they would probably spend a lot of money doing it, 
But I think at the end of it, they changed the whole dynamic in global payroll. Yep. Wow. Yep. And there are, yeah, it's a lot. But it's definitely a lot, but it's very interesting. And I'll give you another tidbit. Workday, everybody knows Workday. Yep. Workday operates in the same model. Really? When you get Workday, you process everything in the payroll, so in the software, right? Mm-hmm. However, Workday does not do wage payments. So your mm-hmm. employees are getting paid, the garnishments are getting paid, the taxes are getting paid, not through Workday, but through their in-country provider, which in many cases happens to be ADP. Mm-hmm. Uh, Very so, interesting. Right? And I think ADP right does it the same way, right? They It's ADP, but they partner with the in-country providers around in the global space, but in the yes. U.S., Workday partners with ADP. Really? Yes, yes. Huh. You, you actually don't get paid through Workday. You get paid through ADP Smart Compliance. Interesting. And I, and I, I think there's other ones you can choose. I've never had a company choose anybody other than ADP to do the... Ah, HP. you get a choice. Interesting. I, I think so. I remember hearing that. Don't quote me on that. But um, <laughs> okay. in U.S. Fair, payroll, fair. Workday does not f- process full payroll. They have a partner. That's Usually interesting. And yeah, that's all that stuff. Have you uh, heard of an Anita Latink? I no. Oh gosh, look up Anita Latink. So she, we talked to her. That we just dropped that episode Sunday. Yes, yeah, Sunday. She wrote a book on payroll. How to, how to how select to your next payroll? Yep, I'm looking for it right here. I usually, yeah, I always have it handy. And um, great book, quick read. And she, in the interview we were talking, she's ta- she says she's talking to folks, had just talked to two young ladies that are developing their own payroll engines and that she knows of at least five to 10 in the last year or so that are developing their own payroll engines. So it's very interesting you say that because it could they could be out there doing it right now. You know what I mean? In the back of my mind, there's always this thing. There's a couple of things, but one of the things is should I at some point find a way to create a global payroll solution Do I, you know, do I have enough contacts? Cause I'm not a developer. I don't know the first thing about writing code or anything. I don't even know if that's even the right way to put that. And I, I'm not sure chat GPT is going to get me to, to a point where I can <laughs> kind of create a whole payroll system. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you took the time, it might help you. <laughs> right, might. But, but yeah, that's on my mind because there, there's a space there that somebody yeah. can come in and just enter that space. And if they're able to grab a global, the global market, like it, it would change a lot of things. Yeah. Global payroll is right for the, pay. mm-hmm. you know, they're just waiting for somebody to, to yep. just go in and, and just grab the bull by its horns and create yeah. a new process that everybody else has to assimilate to. And all the users or the, like myself and anybody else who's on the payroll side, would just gravitate towards because it handles all those problems that you know that, that we currently have right now when trying to fix the global payroll model anywhere. Yep. Yeah. And I used to work at a global payroll company as well. Nice. So I was I've seen the back end of it and I've seen how it works and the deficiencies, the efficiencies yep. And, yep. and what I believe are the moves that you need to make in order to actually make it a beautiful kind of global payroll engine thing, but yep. oh, I love it's, it, it's man. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yo, yeah. keep, oh, you know, keep at it. Yes. Walt says, man, he's just look, start doing something research. Even if you just start with research, we have, we having that conversation with everybody, man. And everybody's like, oh, we're gonna have to do our own thing and solve it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I love it, man. I love because- it. At the end of the day, Adrian, right? Somebody is eventually gonna do it. Somebody's gonna somebody's gonna take that leap and create it one day and get and somebody might be in the process of doing it now. Why not it be you? Right? It exactly. Works. Exactly. And I'm hoping it is me. And hopefully we'll have a a, a part two or three, four, ten, whatever of this of this interview here. Absolutely, and, uh, yeah. And one Heck day yeah. it'll be about me talking about the new company that I have. That's right. You know, something. That's right. I know the tagline is going to be payroll is life because it is. Payroll is life, bro. Thank you for tuning in to It's About Payroll. Until next time, 
keep learning, keep growing, and most importantly, keep going. <laughs>